All right, guys, welcome to your bar class. Today I have some really light weights, so I'm using threes, but you could use anything you have at home. So if you don't have dumbbells, maybe you have a couple of water bottles or cans of soup or something that you can use in lieu of dumbbells. And then I have a special bar, but if you don't have a special bar, you can use the wall, a post, a chair, a desk, or something else that's just nice and sturdy. For now, we're going to start off with a little warm-up, so stand up nice and tall and start to roll out those shoulders up, down, and back. I'm going to get you to bring your heels together too, so your toes are turning out just a little bit, and each time your shoulders roll back, we're going to bend our knees and then stand up. Come down and up. So you're really kind of squeezing your heels. It kind of feels funny. There's, there's no real right or wrong. Don't think too much about it. Just <laughs> getting into the groove here. There's no music today either. So we're gonna kind of just, uh, we're gonna do everything together. So there's no timed intervals. I'm gonna kind of tell you what to do. We're gonna do them together. So standing up nice and tall now. We're gonna step up to the side. So a nice wide stance, toes are turning out. We're gonna sit down into our squat, squat, bring your hands out nice and long in front of you and stand back up, hands come back down. Okay, you got it. Okay, we'll do a couple more like this. Make sure both our legs and our upper body are nice and warmed up before we start to yeah, you know, get into things just a little bit more. Okay, let's sit back down. We're gonna hold the squat, palms up to the sky, shoulder height, and then bring them off to the sides. Knees are gonna stay bent here for a few seconds. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, good. Let's bring our hands to our hips. We're gonna straighten our legs. Turn your toes forward, so we're straightening straight ahead. We're gonna hinge forward now, hands can come down to the ground. And we're gonna kinda just gently sway our hips from side to side. Okay, and then we can kinda come back to center. We're gonna incorporate a twist. So one hand's down on the ground, the other hand's gonna reach up to the sky. A couple of big breaths. Good, let's bring that hand down. We're gonna replace it. Same thing, other side, other hand comes up. Okay, and then we can bring that hand down. You can use your hands to help walk all the way back up to stand. Big inhale, bring your feet back closer together. We're gonna to do a couple of calf raises next. So just lifting your heels up off the ground, lowering them back down. If you do want or need something for balance, you can absolutely utilize it. But remember that if you are using something for balance, you're using it for balance and you're not pressing down into it. Just a light touch. Okay, great. Let's bring our feet back down. Open up your hips. So nice big hip circle from side to side. Getting that knee up higher than your hip if you can. We're gonna do about 10 more seconds of these and then we're gonna do a few reverse alternating lunges. We're gonna take our time with those too. So, we can bring our feet back down to the ground. And if you need space, I'm gonna turn just for space, but basically all we're gonna do is step back, bend our knees, make sure you're using your front foot to do the work, step forward and switch. It's up to you how much you bend your knees, whether that's a little bit or a lot. Okay, so if it, if it bothers your knees in the squat, make sure first of all that you're not too far with the distance between your feet. And if you are getting a lot of pain in your back knee especially, bring your shoulders forward. That's gonna make us use that front leg a little bit more and take the strain off our back knee. We're gonna do just a few more of these and then we're making our way down to the ground for some core work. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's make our way down to the mat. 
We're gonna continue on with a little bit of core work. We're gonna do eight reps of everything. We're gonna kinda just do like a follow the leader. I'll let you know what we're doing as we go, but we're not doing anything crazy, don't worry. We can start with our feet on the floor, knees bent. Hands behind our head. We're starting off with a basic crunch. So keep your elbows wide. Let's start to draw our ribs in, engage our core. Take a big breath in. And on your exhale, lift your shoulders up. That's one, we have eight. Two, if you're a little bit ahead or behind, it doesn't matter. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I'm gonna get you to come back up to that highest point Okay, so shoulders are up off the mat. We're feeling major contraction through our core. We're gonna pulse up eight times. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let it go. Relax on your back, on your mat. Take a couple of big breaths. We're getting ready for a bicycle crunch next. It's a modified bicycle where we start with our feet on the floor. So right elbow is gonna come up and try to touch that left knee, it may or may not reach. We come back down. Let's exhale, other side. <sighs> Inhale, back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're gonna try and speed things up. So let's float our feet up off the ground and crossing over a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Feet back down to the ground. Let's reset. <clears throat> so up next, we're gonna do another kind of modified uh, star crunch. So we can start with our knees, bent feet on the floor. Hands are gonna kind of come back behind our head. When we come up, we're gonna take our right hand. We're gonna try and touch our right ankle. That's one. Two, just do your best. It doesn't matter how high you get up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. All right, so we're not quite done. <laughs> up next, guys, we're gonna bring our feet up to the sky. Okay, we can bring our hands underneath our bum. We're doing the leg lower. We're only gonna lower our legs far enough that we still feel connected and in control of the mat. So for me today, it's only about this far. Okay, we're gonna do eight like that and then eight flutter kicks. So we come down. That's one. So we inhale on the way down. Exhale to bring your feet up. That's two. Nice and strong. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Now bring your feet back down to that point where you just feel it's so your edge. And then we're going to flutter our feet like this eight times. Okay, so it's going to go by really quick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock a couple times from side to side. We're going to flip over to a plank position. We're going to do eight push-ups. I'm going to do them from my knees, so you can also do them from your knees. And remember, just like a lunge or a squat, you only have to bend those elbows as far as you feel comfortable. So we're going to inhale on the way down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when we pulse for this one, we're going to come down to our halfway point and pulse up. So what we do is we bend our elbows, again, just as much as we feel comfortable. And then from here, we're gonna come up an inch, down an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Push all the way up. Find a nice little child's pose will probably feel good. A couple of big breaths. 
And then we're going to do a little bit of glute work from the ground before we make our way back up. So, lie on one side. We have three exercises on this side, three on the other. So we have the clamshell first, and we're gonna kind of follow the same pattern for these exercises. So we're gonna go eight and eight, eight reps, eight pulses, kind of for each one. So feet are gonna stay glued together. We're lifting our top knee up off our bottom knee. That's one. If you want a challenge, you can add a dumbbell on the outside of your leg. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Remember we're pulsing, so down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so same leg, we're gonna stretch it out nice and long. Dumbbell is optional, depending on if you have one and if you wanna use one. Okay, so reach with your heel, eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. <coughs> eight pulses. One, really nice and strong. You shouldn't feel wiggly on your mat. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. All right, so we have one more on this side. We're gonna move into a modified side plank. So let's bring our elbow underneath our shoulder. Bottom knee is still staying bent, and we're gonna come up like this. Try and get your top leg out in line with your hip. Okay, again, dumbbell is optional here. But from this position, we're gonna lower and lift that leg eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulse. One, two, three, four, seven, and eight. Good job. We gotta do the same ones on the other side. So flip over as we get set up for round two, starting with the clam shell. Okay, so get yourself set up, stack those knees, engage that core, and let's start with our first set of eight reps. One, three, four, seven, and eight, and pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top leg reaches out eight times. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's pulse. One, two, Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Let's take a moment to reset for our modified side plank. Okay, so right up here is where we'll meet. We're gonna start with our eight reps in three, two, one. One, two, six, seven, Eight, let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. So that's harder than it looks, am I right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Feel the burn or what? Make your way on up to stand. We're gonna start off, you can just shake out those legs a little bit. With um, the next sequence with, uh, involves some squatting and some upper body work. So if you don't have dumbbells at home, remember that it's okay. You can still follow along. And you could also use anything else. Anything you can hold in your hands. We're not gonna be putting any weight on whatever it is that we're using. I am moving away here soon. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use bag of, bags of sand when I move in a couple of months, so you gotta get creative sometimes. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is <clears throat> four reps 
of each exercise and then we're gonna hold the squat and do eight pulses of the upper body. So that might sound confusing now, but trust me, once we get going, you'll be right into it with me. So find your preferred squat feet. If you have something in your hands like your dumbbells or whatever else, let's do palms up. So it's gonna look like this. Let's do it together. We're gonna squat down and curl. So we're gonna do four of these. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna sit back down, hold the squat, and pulse. So we're gonna go up to about the halfway point. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stand up. We're doing the same idea, same thing, but thumbs up. So this is a hammer curl position. So we sit down for one, two, three, and four, we're gonna sit all the way back down, come up to that halfway point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, let's stand up. So same idea, except this time we're gonna start here. Thumbs up, we're gonna hold our hands out like this. When we squat down, we curl from shoulder height. One, two, three and four we're gonna sit down we're gonna come up to our 90 degree point so from the side it would look like this and then we pulse one two three four five six seven eight take a break come on up so we're gonna continue on this time same position but palms are up to the sky okay so we sit down one, two, three, and four. Let's sit down, come up halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, come on up, take a break. Same idea from here to about 45 degrees, okay? Not all the way to the side. So here to here, we're gonna do it sitting down into the squat. Palms up, one, two, three, four. We're gonna sit back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take a break, stand up. Whew. All right, from here, so start with your arms straight out to the sides this time, okay? We're gonna sit down and curl. One, two, three, and four, let's sit down. Come up to about here, one, two, Three, we're almost done. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a break, stand up. So the next one from here all the way up overhead as we sit down. So hands up, palms up. We come down like this. That's one, two, three, and four. Stand up and then we'll sit down. Come up about halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stand up, take a break. We have one more, and then we're moving on to something else. Bring your hands up overhead. You can even bring your dumbbells together. This is a tricep extension, so when we bend our knees, we're gonna bend our elbows behind us. So it looks like this, we're gonna come down. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woohoo! Put those dumbbells down. Shake it out. 
We have one more round to do, okay? I am gonna use some balance for this next one, so if you don't need it, you don't need it. What we have up next, we're gonna find what we call a warrior three position in yoga. So standing legs gonna have a soft bend, top legs really reaching out. I want you to imagine that your heel and your head are at the same level. And all we're doing is we're gonna bring this back leg in and when we do it, we're gonna bend our knees, we tuck it in. So there's a little baby squat and we kick it back out, okay? One, we're gonna do eight, no pulsing. Two, nice and slow, three, four, five, okay, that's eight. Now, you can take a little break. We're gonna do the same leg. It's gonna be slightly different. We come back to the same starting position, but this time we're only gonna bend our standing leg eight times, nice and slow. So just a tiny little bend, and then we come back up. That's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Stand up, shake it out, and get ready for the other leg. It's the same idea. So take a second to make sure you're in a good position that you feel comfortable, you feel supported, feet feel good, and then we'll get started. So, soft bend in that standing leg already. We exhale, bring it in, bend it a little bit more. Press through the back half of that standing leg. One, two, three, four. Okay, good job, that's eight. We're gonna do our micro bend, so take a second to get set up. So we're in the same starting position, and we're just gonna bend that standing leg eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, stand up, good job. Bring both feet underneath you. We're gonna do just a quick little series with squats, and then we're done of our round. So it's a bit of a narrower squat, but find a position that feels comfortable. We're dropping down eight times. One, two, three, Okay, that's eight. Let's drop down into our squat. Eight pulses from your lowest point. We pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stand all the way up. Time for some calf raises. One, Six, seven, keep your heels lifted. We're gonna pulse from the top eight times. One, two, good. Keep those heels up, we're squatting from here, okay? Bum still gets sent back. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Pulse eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stand up, heels down, shake it out. We're all done. It's time to cool down. All right, so let's get into those quads first. If you need something for balance, use it. Let's grab onto a foot. 
We are looking for length, guys. Down the front of that leg. Use a strap or a band to loop under your ankle if you need to. And skip it if it does not feel good for your knees. All right, gently let that foot go. Shake it out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Good job. All right, shake out that leg. Let's, before we make our way down to the ground, stretch out our upper body. Let's bring a hand across our chest. Okay, we're gonna bring that same arm up overhead. We'll grab onto it, reach up and over. Okay, come on back up. Same thing on the other side. Crossing over. Okay, and then we'll bring that hand up for some lateral flexion. Good, come on back up. Hands can come back down to your sides. Let's make our way down to the mat. We're gonna start with stretching our legs out nice and long in a forward fold. So pull your inner thighs away from one another. Keep your feet about hip width distance apart. Hands reach up. Lead with your heart as you fold forward, and when you feel stuck, then round. Let your head become heavy, and take a few big breaths right here. Okay, let's inhale, come up. We're gonna take one ankle just above our knee and we can lean back, bring the other foot to the floor and scooching our bum forward. So you're looking for a stretch the outside of your hip with whatever leg is closest to you. Gently let that foot go. Let's release it and switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Remember that this side may feel different, so just be mindful and listen to your body. All right, let's release that too, guys. Bring those legs out, give them a little shake. We're gonna pull those feet in towards our body for a seated butterfly pose. You can round forward over those legs. Look for a nice little stretch to your inner thighs. Awesome, okay, let's sit up. You can find just a comfortable seated position briefly here. Just wanna twist out our spine a little bit. So we'll take a big inhale, reach your hands up. And on your exhale, let's twist. Let's hold it here for a couple big breaths. We can bring our hands up, big inhale. Exhale, twist other side. All right, we can turn back to center, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a great class, and I will see you again soon.